Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a very exciting video. Another very spendy video. <laughs> but I'm super excited about this one. I've been wanting to do it for a while. Largely inspired by many things. One being Katie Jane Hughes raging about this. Another being Margot Robbie and her 73 questions. She is a Chanel ambassador and I really, following many of these things, wanted to film a full face of Chanel for you guys, doing another one brand makeup tutorial. So I'm doing a tutorial on this makeup look here for you, showing you all of the Chanel things. And I was doubly thrilled to film this because The Real Real reached out, which you guys know. I have worked with them before. They are an amazing luxury consignment store. They've got a website and an app. They have thousands and thousands of items. Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Balenciaga, everything up to 90% off of retail price. I was so excited that they reached out because Oh man, like Margot Robbie's outfit. I have been like, listen, I never thought I would own a piece of Chanel clothing, but I really wanted a tweed jacket. I really wanted to embrace my Margot Robbie classy woman look in full form. And the real real hooked me up with this insanely beautiful Chanel tweed jacket. I can't believe I am wearing an item that is Chanel and I'm absolutely obsessed. And I wanted to recreate a kind of like Margot Robbie Chanel inspired runway-esque look to go with the jacket. So we got the Chanel makeup, we got the Chanel jacket. To make it a little bit more casual, I didn't really know what to wear with this. I was kind of like, yes, tweed jacket. And I'm like, what do I wear? And I actually, I, I put on my Aritzia denim forum jeans and a little pair of strappy Zara heels and I really like how it turned out. It was much more wearable than I could have ever imagined actually. Like I would wear this to dinner, to brunch, for strolling, to a meeting if you really wanted to be an intense, if you guys wanted to shop on the Real Real website, you can check the link in my description box down below. If you shop through that link, you get $25 off of your first order. They ship globally and they have a very large team of authenticators who work with them to authenticate every item so you know that every item you're purchasing off the website is indeed real. The Real Real, I love you. Thank you so much. If you guys want to see how I did this makeup look, please do stay tuned and keep on watching. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post new videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Friday. Let us get on to the look. All right, guys, let's hop right into it. Starting with the star of the show. This is the Le Beige. Le Beige's Water Fresh Tint. This is the, the product that started the show. Katie Jane Hughes has been using this repeatedly and I have been dying to try it. And in the little box, also the packaging is so stunning. It actually comes with the little brush and the lady at the Chanel counter told me that this is the exact brush just with a shorter handle. So you actually get a little two in one with this. So because this is the brush that comes with it, I'm going to try that with this. I got the shade medium plus. The lady at the counter said to apply it on the back of the hand and to pre-swirl it before applying it to the skin. And then as you swirl it with the brush, the little pigment niblets kind of, well, they explode. And then you get this lovely little hydrating tint. So that's what I wanted to start with. And I think, oh, that is pretty. That just really did give me like a very healthy looking glow, which is nice. I'm gonna take a bigger brush. I'm just gonna put some on it and I'm actually just gonna take that down my neck because my neck is so much lighter than everything else as always, just so that it's looking nice and even. That is so pretty. It gives you such a dewy, fresh finish. How nice. Katie Jane Hughes. Look at you go. How pretty is that? Okay, so that's that's divine. I can see myself keeping that out on the desk and using that prior to any additional coverage. I picked up the tinted moisturizer, okay? This is the Le Beige Sheer Healthy Glow Tinted Moisturizer. This is the tiniest little package that I've ever seen in my life. I'm kind of like, why is it so much smaller than all of the other foundations? But I wanted to try, this is the shade Medium. I'm gonna take a little bit out. And I just wanted to go over with this. Um, I previously, like the Chanel foundations, I remember like way back in the day in the YouTube world, like Fleur de Force went on and raved about the Vita Lumiere Aqua foundation for years, years and years and years. That was always her go-to. And whenever she went to events and stuff, she always used that. And I remember just like, I wanted to get my hands on it so badly and it wasn't the best foundation for dry skin. So I thought it would be fun to go in with the tinted moisturizer. So I picked that up instead of trying the other foundations. I have long ago, like I just said, um, use the Vita Lumiere Aqua because everyone used to rave about it and it just wasn't my favorite formula. So 
I'm gonna try the tinted moisturizer. This is super fragranced. The water fresh tint pretty much had no fragrance. I didn't notice anything at all. This one's like, wow, it's got a lot of fragrance, but this is looking really, really pretty. This is actually a really good shade match too. I'm just putting a nice little layer over top. I've got a lot of redness and veins and whatnot in my skin. So just doing a nice little layer of that for some final skin tone evening. Oh my God, it's so dewy. It's so dewy. Oh. This is really, really nice, you guys. I'll give you a nice up close look. I just like, look how fresh and dewy and delicious my skin looks. All right, for concealer, I've never tried a concealer from Chanel. This is the Le Caractère concealer. I got the shade 30 beige. I'm gonna take some of this underneath my eyes. I'm gonna start really lightly because I, I haven't actually previously opened this. So I'm just gonna put a nice little light layer it's pretty deep actually. I could have gone one shade lighter with that, but it's actually blending out so nicely. A more light coverage concealer for sure. It's not thick. It actually feels quite dewy. Like I'm, I'm definitely gonna have to set this with powder just from how it feels firsthand. But blending that in with my hand, I actually really like that. It, it blends out super nicely. Sometimes with concealer, I'm a little bit too lazy. Like if I have to sit there for too long and that's why I use a brush or a beauty blender or whatever, but this is nice. Take away those dark circles. Take away my lack of sleep sin. Okay, a little extra coverage there. You guys, this base is looking incredible. It looks incredible. <laughs> wow, wow. I was kind of, just because with my previous experience with the Vita Lumiere Aqua and really not liking it, I, I didn't have high hopes for this, but my God, this combination. Wow. All right, let's dive in to such an old favorite, you guys. This was like in the YouTube world, every single person went on and on and on and raved about this. This is a product I've used for many, many years. And I actually went back and I was like, man, I know I decluttered this long ago. And I've actually decluttered this out of my collection twice in my in my YouTube world. I have purchased this and decluttered it twice over now because there's so much product in here. It's such a big product that I, I would always feel stressed um, and want to declutter it and and you know I'd pass it off to a friend who I know would use it and love it fully but because I just use so many products and review so many things and have so many I was like oh it's gonna expire before I am able to use it up completely and I, I just never wanted that to happen because it is such a beautiful product so I'd always declutter it and anyway I realized the last time I used this uh, was in February 2017 I featured it in January favorites of 2017 and then I featured it in a Valentine's Day tutorial and that's the last time I've had it so so it's been two years since I've had this product in my collection and I was super excited to repurchase it and, and play with it again. Anna has been raving on and on and on about it. I'm like, ah, oh, I just, I need to get my hands back on this. So this is, that was a really big intro to this, but it's the Soleil Tan de Chanel. It's their cream bronzer. It's their universal bronzing base. And this is a, a brand new one. Look at that new fresh swirl. My God, it's beautiful. This package is giant. It's one ounce, 0.25 ounces in the Nude Sticks Cream Bronzer, 0.21 fluid ounces in the Westman Atelier, 0.2 ounces in the RMS Buriti Bronzer. So this is one ounce. So this is a lot more product that you get for your dollar in comparison to any other cream bronzer on the market. And that's usually why I would I would really amp it up. I'm like, I know it's expensive, it's Chanel, but you get so much more product in here. The one downside is that they call this a universal bronzer and it is not. They have one shade of this, that's tragic they need to expand the shade range on here because it is such a beautiful product. Everyone, so many people have raved about it for years and that needs to happen. They need to get some, some more shades in here. I'm going to use this as a base. I do wanna use another bronzer on top of this because they have a limited edition cruise collection, but uh, I'm going to, oh my God, it just blends out so nicely. It's such a natural, beautiful, warm shade. I feel like it was a lot more effective actually when I was quite a bit more pale, but this is just putting such a, a natural looking base down on the skin. Because you know I'm all about that base, about that base. It's so pretty. It's very, very natural. I'm stoked to have that again. You guys, let me know your thoughts on this. I've always been such a fan, such a fan of this. The packaging alone, having it out on your desk, it's just so, it's so nice. So that's everything for the cream products. Before we dive into the rest of the powder on the base, I am going to 
powder. Set this all in because I am looking very, very dewy and that was a very dewy base and I feel like I need to set it in a little bit so that it doesn't budge. This powder I've been seeing everywhere. Like on Instagram, if you're looking at a flat lay, I feel like everyone's just using this simply because the packaging is so pretty and I've seen it in so many product shots and whatnot. This is the Healthy Glow Powder, the Sheer Powder. Look at that packaging, it's so cute. I love it, I feel like this is like a package like a powder that you just keep forever even after you've used up the product. So it has the Chanel embossed in it as well and it comes with a little brush and I'm going to, you know what, I'm probably not gonna use the brush actually, I've just decided. I'm actually just gonna switch to another brush cause I just wanna, I'm sorry that I'm ruining your pretty writing but I'm gonna set underneath my eyes. Is that, I feel like that's where I'm gonna get a lot of budgery and I'll do my eyelid space as well. And just like a general light dusting over the skin. Um, that powder's beautiful. It looks really nice. I feel like I still have a nice glow, a nice dew to my skin, but hopefully it'll help it stay in place and I won't be greasy. So that's the Sheer Glow Powder, the, the Instagram phenomenon. And then next, next up, this is from their Cruise Collection. So their Cruise Collection this year, they have a lot of limited edition products. A few of them I picked up and I'm gonna be using here today. I actually think this Water Fresh tint came out with it as well, but these ones are limited edition. So this is the Bronze Duo in the shade Medium and it's a bronzer and a highlighter here. This is limited to their Cruise Collection. Super gorgeous. I wanted to use this for some additional bronzing and highlighting. So I'm gonna dip into this. It's quite a cool toned bronzer. So I think that it'll be pretty effective for contouring. This brush actually might be too soft for it. I feel like you need a harder bristle to get the product out. You know what I mean? It's like not my favorite. I feel like I could have passed on this. There's many a nicer highlight and bronzer that I would choose over this, but it just looked so pretty and I just wanted to try it. And I'm trying it, I'm telling you, it's not my favorite. Let's try the highlighter. It's very subtle. Very, very subtle, but it's pretty. I do, oh, there we go. I feel like that picked up a little bit more. They also had their normal um, non-limited edition highlighting powders. I should have picked one up, but this was a nice little two-in-one that I wanted to try. It's really pretty. It is very, very close in color to the MAC Whisper of Guilt. That's what it reminds me of on my face. So that's the little Cruise Collection bronzer. And now I am, sorry, I do apologize. This, from what I've seen, was also a limited edition product. This is the Tweed Blush. They came out with a ton colors of this. I found it on the Chanel website, but on the Nordstrom website, it was sold out. I purchased this in store actually when we were in France. It just looks so unique. Oh my God, it's like reminiscent of their of their tweed fabric and the like texture in here is so gorgeous and they're calling them a blush duo because it does have two colors in one. This one's in the shade number 20, Tweed Coral. Their regular blushes are divine as well. Oh, that's so nice. I just, oh, I love the look of this and I love blush in general. That's a really pretty color. It's got a little hint of shimmer in it. That's a very, very nice shade. I'm all about the coral these days. Can you tell? <laughs> I'm gonna run a little bit across my, my nose as well, just for that natural natural sun-kissed blush. Okay, so that is the base. That's the base done. Really big fan. I'm a big fan of this so far. It's very much up my alley in terms of coverage and dewiness and whatnot. I think this has a really gorgeous finish. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera because I didn't pick up any of the Chanel brows. I'll be back with you to do the eyes after that. The brows are loud today, fam. All right, let's dive into the eyeshadow. I wanted to try something out from the Cruise Collection as well because it was limited for summer. So this is the Lumière Naturelle. This is the beautiful eyeshadow quad that is from their Cruise Collection. Looks very lovely, very much up my alley. And it's nice and sheer, lighter neutrals. They'll all blend together beautifully for a nice smoky eye. So I'm gonna dip into this little shade here. And just run that all over the lid. I'm just bringing that way up past my crease. Just kind of blending that over the entirety of the eye space. It's a really nice light transition shade. I'm gonna take a smaller blending brush and dip into this deeper brown. It's slightly deeper. <laughs> and that's gonna go 
all over the lid. Oh, you know what? It actually looks a lot deeper once it's actually applied to the lid. I'm just gonna blend that. These are blending out so beautifully. Oh, this is so nice. And taking that right up to the crease and I'm not going beyond the crease. And I'll just go back with a bigger fluffy brush and just lightly blend that out. Just to fix up the little edge I've created there. I'm gonna take that same shade Put that along my lower lash line and just connect that to the top and then I'll take a lighter brush and just take that lighter brown and just lightly blend that over this will hardly make a difference but in case there was any harsh line this will just soften the whole overall look oh I love these browns this is so like the perfect oh my god <laughs> such a nice everyday smoke but you could add a liner and like make it so much more deep and sensual, you know? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye. I was distracted and I, I didn't finish the job. <laughs> so then to add a little bit of bronze summer interest, I'm gonna take the bronzy shade and just dust that all over the lid. It's not very intense, but it's actually really pretty. It's a really nice like all over the lid shade. The Chanel eyeshadows just remind me of, of red carpet. They're just this like beautiful sheer, something that you would just expect to see on Kara Knightley on the red carpet, you know what I mean? Up, I, I put that, whoop, whoop, made a little boo-boo. There we go. All right, and then finally, I'm gonna go into this little, it's like silver, it's like a bronze silver, which is cool. And I'm gonna use that to highlight the inner corners and the brow bone. Although this silver, I feel like, I actually think it's a little too deep for the inner corner highlight. So I'm gonna go over top of it with the, I'd probably just use that actually for a little pop in the center of the lid, but for an inner corner highlight, I'm just gonna layer over the highlighter we used on our face for a little of extra brightness, because the silver is just a little bit too dark. We'll reserve that for the center of the lid. Yes. Yes, that is much brighter. So then for mascara, this is a new one. They came out with multiple colors of this. I know there's a blue and there might be a purple, but obviously I went with the black. This is the Volume Revolution de Chanel and it's got this new fancy, you know, textured pattern. Let's give it a try. Very interesting wand. I haven't seen many wands like this in my time. Looks pretty cool. Volume Revolution sounds like my kind of mascara. I don't know how to feel about this wand. It's so unique looking. It's not my favorite mascara. It's not the worst mascara. I obviously right now can't speak to on the longevity of it, but I feel like I really just had to work there to get my lashes lifted. And for volume revolution, it's not as volumizing as say like the Lancome Monsieur Big or my Tom Ford Badass Mascara, but it's nice. It's nice. Would I buy it again? Probably not. It's not rocking my world. You know what I mean? It's pretty much, that's pretty much my final thought there, but it looks fine for all intents and purposes at this moment. So that's it for the eyes. Let us finish off with the lips. I completely forgot to pick up a lip liner. I'm not gonna lie. So I am just gonna, this is the KKW Beauty Nude 1.5. Actually, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm really enjoying this lip liner. It's kind of filling the, uh, Makeup Forever Void that I've been having in my sadness since they discontinued. 5C, it's very, very similar in shade. This is like the closest I've seen of it. It's very, very creamy. I really like the packaging and it's available. So there's that, I really like it. Curious to know your guys' thoughts on the whole KKW Beauty thing. I love this liner. So for lips, I picked up a couple different lip products because there's a few products that I was just drawn to and I was excited about. First being the Chanel Boy Lipstick. This is a, a favorite for many a folk. This is a very popular nude. I wanted to try that on. Ooh, it's pretty cool toned. It's pretty cool toned. And this is, I believe, their Rouge Coco Flash. Yes, the Rouge Coco Flash. So it's very um moisturizing, balmy lipstick. Oh yeah, that's nice. I might actually have to, mm, I might have to wear this. I'll try on the other two, but I might actually have to wear this. I'm really feeling the nude with this eye look. I feel like a badass 
Okay, so I'm just gonna lightly dab that off. That's boy. People have been raving about that for years. So then the next one I picked up is Rouge Coco Flash 202 Warm Up. And this is a really nice, like sheer bright orange bomb. And this came out with their summer collection as, oh, there we go, as well. So I wanted to see, you guys know I love anything that's like lip and balm in a sentence. I am here for, oh my God. Oh, oh no, this one's so nice too. Oh my God, this one really goes with the coral blush. Oh, I love this color. It's so juicy too. My God, wow. Okay, so clearly the Rouge Coco Flash and I are meant to be best friends. I love that balmy texture, that very moisturizing lip formula. So good, so good. And on that train, you guys, I had to pick this up. This is the Rouge Coco Gloss in the shade 802. It looks like such a bright, vibrant orange, and I haven't actually tested this out yet, or swatched it actually. Let's just swatch it really quick. Oh, yes, ah, okay, look at this. Now, if anyone remembers, I know I've spoken on my channel about it, you know, throughout the years, but I couldn't find the videos where I actually like featured it and tried it on. I had to go into a deep dive back, back in the day. I believe the year was 2015. I think it was the summer collection of 2015, if I'm not mistaken. I could be off for a year. My dates and timing aren't always the best, but they came out with the lip gloss shade 188 Sunny. That was the peak of my gloss life. I was obsessed with that gloss. I used it so much. I know I like, I had like half an empty tube. That was like the gloss I used the most in my entire life other than Bite Beauty Current. It was so stunning. It was a bright orange like this and it had that nice sheer pinky sheen. This is like, I'm, I'm pretty sure they've just reformulated this. We're gonna see. It looks exactly the same. Anyway, I love that gloss so much. I remember losing it and I had no idea where it went and I was devastated because obviously it was like a limited edition summer collection and I never saw it again. And if anyone else remembers 188 Sunny, oh my God, that was my life. I loved that gloss so much. And then when I was, you know, at the store buying the stuff for this, I saw this lip gloss and I was like, oh my God, it looks exactly like Sunny. It's a little bit deeper. I remember Sunny in the packaging being a little bit more sheer in color but this very much screams sunny to me so I had to pick it up and just put it on because it reminded me of that and I was like damn it I'm pretty sure this was permanent collection but just in case god look at that oh honestly it's quite similar to the bomb but it's a little bit more pigmented honestly than that lip balm but how gorgeous oh it just like it looks so orange in the tube but when you put it on it pulls a little bit more pink and it's a little bit more sheer this applicator is divine too. It's nice and big. It's like a paddle. What a beautiful friggin' gloss. Oh, I'm so, I wonder, I wonder how close to sunny it actually is. I wish I had it. That would have been another product, you know, like through all of my purging and decluttering, that would have been another product that would have survived it. Had I not lost it, I would have kept that lip gloss forever, even if it got moldy. <laughs> I would have kept it forever. So this is the finished makeup look. I'm absolutely obsessed. I've been wanting to do this for a while and thank you, Katie Jane Hughes, and thank you to The Real Real for, you know, re-inspiring and, and making me do this. Let me know in the comments down below what some of your favorite Chanel products are. I'm super excited about a lot of these. There's a lot of, a lot of favorites chilling in here and I'm excited to play with them more. And I feel like Chanel is a brand that I, that I sleep on a lot. I'm not really into their skincare, but with the beauty, I feel like I sleep on it and they have just a lot of gorgeous products and a lot of products that have been favorites for a long time. So I was excited to dive back in and play. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos from me. Thanks so much for watching everyone and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.